Now, localizing some of South Africa's key sectors will help create jobs and grow the economy. Kosati General Secretary Bekin Jalinjali says going local should not be demonized. He says the impact of COVID has shown that scaling up local manufacturing and procurement needs to be prioritized. And, of course, the over-resilience on imports needs to end. Jalinjali joins me now to discuss this further. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Jalinjali. I mean, it's not the first time that pronouncements of this nature have been made over the years. What is the big stumbling block of growing localization in South Africa? I think there have been many factors. One of them has been the question of uh, uh, the, the dumping, the question of getting some products uh, abroad where there are no labor rights at all and business driven by making profit where to then to opt for that uh, importing of those uh, goods rather than creating the jobs here. So mainly it's been a combination of being greedy, but also the combination of being fearful to I mean, build our local uh, capacity to re-industrialize as many countries have done that in the past, despite, as we are correctly saying, that there have been many uh, pronouncement made both by government and business, but there has been lack of implementation, particularly from businesses. But we said also from the state, the state has not been playing that ripping role. And of course, you bring up an excellent point there in that it will contribute to the jobs crisis that we currently have. But one argument that's been made here, Secretary General, is that uh, there are no there are not enough resources to localize many of the industries and that many of those who want to be entering different industries are unable to do so. Uh, some because they're saturated, but also another reason that you mentioned there, the dumping that happens. Correctly, government has to make that contribution to put the infrastructure correctly. Uh, but business also, uh, they're in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a business to make them to in that processes to create jobs. So it's a combination of all that we need to be doing jointly. That's why in the economic recovery and construction plan, there have been no debate about these things. There are no arguments as to why we cannot localize many, many countries that are developed. Look to the Asian Tigers. We need to protect our industry. We need to use the correct tariff, but we need to build capacity. So it's a combination of both. We can't just complain and say forever we are going to be the dumping site and we are going to be able to import. As you are correctly indicating that during the COVID, we're exposed that our, when you have no capacity even to produce the vaccines that we're talking about, then your, your legitimacy as government, your legitimacy as a country is being questioned. Mm. Mm, absolutely, but also a big talking point here, Mr. Nchalinchali, is the cost of doing business in South Africa. It's only escalated over the last few years, and so it's not very easy to implement these notions of localization and allowing local businesses to manufacture um, and distribute and, of course, export as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit debate about that because every country, uh, to be able to develop, they use they need to use the tariff, not to be extreme to such a, a point that uh, the consumers, the ordinary people, the poor, are unable to consume those goods because you are putting a very very high price uh, for those things. But it has to be balanced. There's a period that you need to build your capacity, but things will level up as we go as we go along and there are other sectors i mean we have a, a example how we protected the clothing and textile and people were not thinking that the sectors would be able to survive it's gradually surviving we are exporting without benefiting our products and importing the same products that we're making up here all those things need to be balancing out of course there has to be quality there has to be price competitive, we are not just going to try to close out other people. You need to balance the two. And we think it's, it's possible. Brand SA is doing a marvelous job. Probably South Africa 
is doing a, a marvelous job. But also there is love among our people to buy something that is made maybe in China or made in Italy compared to the things that are made in South Africa. So we need to love our country, love our products, and be able to do things that really benefit uh, our, our, our generation. No, absolutely. Um, could you give us some examples of uh, some standards globally that have followed the localization uh, route and have now had economies that are thriving? Are there any lessons that South Africa can learn from any one country, whether it be on the rest of the continent or even globally? I don't want to use the American one because that one is a little bit crazy. You remember uh, Trump recalled many of the uh, American companies back to the U.S. in a very negative way. But when you look to the Asian Tigers, uh, you look, may, maybe more specific, you look at South Korea. They, When they started their motto of hiking, for an example, they ensure that almost every part of it will produce locally. Your components, your tires, your engine, and et cetera, and et cetera. But they did not start fully blown in that way. They started by saying, we we'll allow the motor car assembled, but the tire component, the seat component, has to be produced locally as you build up your capacity. Because one of the issues that uh, is treatment uh, to this thing is capacity. But there are many, many examples of the country, and I think business now have said it is possible, it can be done, so that's why we are critical from those who are just instilling fear that this thing is going to destroy jobs. In fact, it's going to create jobs, it's going to create our economy, it's going to address the, 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 the balance, uh, uh, the question of the import and the export balance, mm, payment, I mean, balance of payment. Yeah, I mean, the process might be moving a little bit slow, but it has started uh, with government pronouncing uh, last year that uh, it will be using uh, local cement manufacturers for government gazetted projects, which is a step in the right correct, um, direction. Um, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. That's Kosatu General Secretary Bek in Jalinjali speaking to us about localization and how it can actually contribute to the growth of the economy and, of course, create jobs.